Hey everybody, welcome back to TheClinicalTrialsGuru.com. Again, it's TheClinicalTrialsGuru.com. Keep your questions coming in there. Awesome. Thank you guys. Today's question I got from LinkedIn through a direct message, but you can send me questions on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, everywhere, all right? And including calling or texting me anytime, 949-415-6256 or emailing me, dan at TheClinicalTrialsGuru.com. Okay, so today's question, again from LinkedIn, someone's asking whether a non-MD or a non-DO, which is a doctor of osteopathy, could ever be a principal investigator for a clinical trial, okay? And um, in this person's particular case, he, he is dealing with a site that is using a registered nurse as a principal investigator, right? So my answer to this person, is much like Bigfoot sightings and UFO sightings, okay, I've only heard of cases like this. I've never actually seen them for myself, um, so I'm not an eyewitness to this, right? I've heard stories, uh, but I've heard lots of stories. I've heard enough stories to where it's interesting and it's intriguing. Now, this is for industry-sponsored trials. This is for trials where pharma companies are paying private research clinics, like all of mine, to do clinical trials on their behalf to submit to the FDA for IND approval, right? In, univers in the university settings, they do things a little differently. For the most part, they still have MDs or DOs that are PIs, but I've interviewed, okay, and, and this is at an academic setting, I've interviewed uh, a study coordinator who was a student at the time, I believe getting his master's degree in some science related field. This student was the principal investigator of a study. Okay, but these are academic trials. These are trials where they're just doing them for academic purposes. They're not trying to commercialize anything. Okay, in commercial, private sector, totally different. Now, there's nothing in GCP or FDA regulations that state that a principal investigator of a trial must be an MD. There's nothing. So by that token, the answer is yes, anyone should be able to be a principal investigator, right? Now, coming back to reality on the practical side of this topic, pharma companies are very reluctant to have a non-MD be the principal investigator, right? There's one particular study where, uh, I probably shouldn't say too much about it, but um, I had a client and I was helping their coordinator uh, conduct the trial. They had very little PI oversight, okay? And the monitor kind of told me, because I, I know the monitor, we've gone back for years uh, on different studies, the monitor kind of knew what was up. So she told me, she said, hey Dan, um, you know, there's nothing in GCP guidelines that, just kind of nudging me like this, there's nothing in GCP guidelines stating that a principal investigator has got to be an MD. You know, what would happen if you were to ask the sponsor to be the principal investigator? And I, I of course, I want to do that. So I, I jumped at the opportunity. I emailed the sponsor. The sponsor knew me. We had a relationship. We go way back. Uh, they said we would love to, but that would be a red flag for the FDA, right? So, and I'm, I have no medical background. I have a master's degree, but it's a master's degree in business. My bachelor's degree is in science, okay? So I'm not a nurse practitioner. I'm not a registered nurse. I'm not a physician assistant. I'm not a PhD, right? So uh, the monitor, and this is an experienced CRA, she suggested I try that means that it is possible, but the sponsor did shoot it down, and I thought they would too. I did not expect to actually become the principal investigator of the trial, although that would have been so cool, and I would have been blogging all about it. Um, so the practical answer is yes. There's nothing that states that you can't. You you have to be an MD to be a principal investigator, and your chances are increased in being selected as a principal investigator if you have some kind of science background, like a nurse practitioner, uh, physician assistant, PhD, 
RN and you have the correct MD backup as sub-investigators uh, because obviously you wouldn't be qualified as a non-MD to conduct all the clinical aspects of the study. Um, you would need those people in place and they would have to have some level of oversight on the delegation of duties log. So the answer is yes, it's possible. Yes, apparently it does happen. Yes, crazy things have been suggested to me. Um, and so I tend to believe some of these stories I hear. But in all likelihood, it's not very unlikely to get approved by a sponsor. Okay? Dan from theclinicaltrialsguru.com. As a matter of fact, if you know of a case where there is a private industry funded clinical research study going on where the principal investigator is not an MD or a DO, email me. I'd be curious to hear more about it, right? Dan from theclinicaltrialsguru.com. Take care.